So friends, as you know that on our channel, we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose, we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as mains. So friends, in this video, we will be talking about our brand new series, uh, the name of which uh, will be Let's Check Your Progress. Progress. So this series is about uh, uh, checking your progress in various topics, that is whether you are preparing uh, in line with the UPSC or not. So uh, daily what we will be doing, we will be covering uh, one topic and uh, that will be uh, uh, that will be either ancient India or medieval India or modern India or environment or polity or geography. So in this way we will give you a certain number of questions oh, and uh, you will be required to attempt those, uh, those, uh, those questions. So, the, uh, so uh, in this way you will get an idea that whether uh, you are preparing uh, well or not. So let's start our discussion. So today we will be covering your ancient India. So five questions will be asked and uh, this explanations will also be discussed uh, so that uh, uh, this uh, uh, so that you people can judge about your preparation. So let's start. So the first question is with reference to citadels in Harappa and Mohenjo-daro sites consider the following statements. First they were built to the east of the city on large elevated regions. Second, the great bath found in Mohanjadaro is built in citadels. So, which of the above statements is are correct? So, uh, options are given uh, before you. So, you can pause the video and can uh, uh, mark your answer. So, let's move on to the solution. So, friends, the answer is B. Because, uh, let me tell you that the first statement is wrong. Why it is wrong? Because the uh, the, uh, the elevated regions, that is citadel, uh, was, uh, was built to the west of the city and not to the east. So, Great Bauth uh, was built in uh, uh, citadels. So the answer would be B that is second only so many city many of these cities were divided into two or more parts so usually uh, the part to the west was smaller but higher so it uh, it is described as the citadel by archaeologists so and uh, to the part to the east was larger but lower so this this is called the lower town so of, uh, often the walls of baked brick were built around each part and uh, brick, uh, brick, bricks were uh, uh, so well made that they have lasted for thousands of years. So in some uh, cities uh, there were special buildings also for example uh, uh, in Mohanjadaro, uh, archaeologists have found a great bath. Uh, uh, built in this area of citadel and uh, then uh, uh, in other uh, regions also uh, uh, very important buildings have been found because uh, for example in Mohanjadaro granaries have been found on earth so various other things have been found let's move on to the next question so next question is also relating to Harappan civilization uh, so the first question uh, first statement about it is the Harappan city's crafts made of uh, uh, copper bronze iron and silver have been found during excavations second strangely Harappan civilization did not use gold so please note the word we have to choose which, uh, about which of the above statement is incorrect so let me tell you friends uh, that both of uh, these statements are incorrect uh, because uh, first is incorrect because crafts were made of copper bronze and silver but not of iron uh, and uh, uh, Harappan people uh, uh, did know about the gold. So both of these statements uh, are incorrect. So the answer is C. That is both are incorrect. So most of things have been found by the archaeologists in Harappa. They are made of stone, shell, metal including copper, bronze, gold and silver. So copper and bronze were found uh, were used to make tools, weapons, ornaments and vessels. So gold and silver were used to make ornaments and vessels. So this is about your... Uh, Second question and now let's move to the next question next is with reference to Ashav made sacrifice ritual of the ancient times consider the following statements first a horse belonging to a Raja conducting Ashav made sacrifice was let loose to wander freely and it was guarded by his, his men second if the horse was held by other Rajas they had to fight the Raja conducting sacrifice third if the horse was allowed to pass without being held those Rajas had to surrender their kingdom to the Raja conducting sacrifice. So we have to choose that which of these above, uh, above statements is are correct. Let me tell you friends that all of these statements are correct. So answer is D. Uh, sorry, uh, it, it is a mistake. So answer is A, not uh, uh, D. Uh, third statement is incorrect. Uh, basically, uh, the, uh, the, the kingdom was not to be renounced. But uh, the Rajas recognized the uh, uh, um, uh, supreme authority of the other king 
uh, who who used to conduct this sacrifice so the answer would be a that is one and two only so choosing leaders or rulers by voting is something that has become common during the last 50 years or so but uh, in ancient times different sacrifices were conducted so uh, 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 there were many sacrifices for example Ashav made sacrifice Rajasua sacrifice so all these sacrifices were conducted uh, uh, to, uh, to assert the authority of the king so now let's move on to the next question next is during the Mahajanpada period we hear about Kamakaras who were these people a watchman of the forts the watchman of villages see landless agricultural lab laborers the slave men and women so you can pause the video and can uh, uh, mark your answer so friends the answer is C that is landless agricultural laborers so uh, there were two major uh, changes in agriculture uh, around the Mahajanpada period that is uh, one was the growing use of iron plowshares and then uh, there was also transplant uh, transplantation of paddy so this led to increase uh, all these uh, these two changes uh, bro uh, led to increased production of grains so in this way uh, this uh, uh, the Mahajanpadas grew because king, uh, king developed a regular source of revenue due to, the, due to the increasing yield of the crops and also then uh, uh, there was uh, another thing that was uh, about uh, these uh, uh, transplanting paddy that is it, it was a, a back breaking work so back uh, this work was generally done by slave men and women that is dasas and dasis so uh, often they had to do this work so answer is C so landless agri agricultural laborers were referred to as Kamakaras during the Mahajanpada period now let's move to the next question next is with reference to Buddha consider the following statements first he belonged to a large Sangha known as Vajji Sangha second he was a Kshatriya so you have to choose that which of these statements is are correct so you can pause the video and can mark your answer so friends let's check what is the answer so the answer is B so Siddhartha also known as Gautama he was the founder of Buddhism he was born about 25 years 2500 years ago so some uh, uh, this was a uh, time of rapid change in the lives of uh, people some kings in the Mahajanpadas were growing very powerful and also new cities were uh, uh, developing and life in villages was also changing so many thinkers emerged out of which uh, uh, one out of which was uh, uh, the Buddha so he belonged to a small Gana known as uh, Sakya Gana and uh, was a Kshatriya so he was a young man who left uh, the comforts of his home in search of truth and then um, uh, uh, he started van uh, wandering for, uh, for, for the realization of truth and then uh, finally he uh, realized the truth uh, uh, in Bihar, uh, at both Gya under a people, people tree in Bihar so then after, thereafter he went to Sarnath near Varanasi so where he taught the, for the first time so then uh, he passed away at Kusinara so uh, this is about your fifth question so uh, these uh, regarding Gana and Sanghas was basically uh, Vajji uh, the, uh, the most uh, while uh, Magda became a powerful kingdom Vajji with its capital at Vaishali was under a different form of government known as Gana or Sangha so in a Gana or Sangha there were not uh, uh, there, uh, there were not one but many rulers so uh, they they used to uh, the matters were decided based on debates and discussions so uh, entire thing was uh, 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 entire sort of decisions were taken by consensus so but however women dasas and kamakaras were, uh, were not the participants in these uh, discussion assemblies uh, so then both, both buddha and mahavira belong to the gana or sanghas so uh, it is not the uh, buddha but the mahavira who belong to vajji sangha so this is about your discussion friends so if you uh, uh, feel that you are preparing good uh, and uh, if you have scored at least uh, f uh, uh, three or uh, uh, if you have mar uh, marked at least three or four uh, answers then you can uh, easily say that you are preparing well but if in case you are feeling that uh, that uh, your marks uh, your number uh, you, the number of questions that are attempted by you are quite low then no need to worry about it you can uh, you can st uh, uh, start preparing again and you can uh, you can focus upon those areas in which you are lacking and in this way only uh, you can improve upon 
so uh, lastly friends uh, these questions were based on the ncrts so if in case you feel if you are uncomfortable with your preparation or you feel that you are not preparing well uh, then you can join our ncrt course uh, that is uh, uh, in which we are covering your ncrts from class 6 to class 12th uh, and uh, these will be covered in just rupees 149 so for how this initiative will work so you will be daily given a target to read in and in the evening you will get 10 mcqs from that target so all ncrts from 6 to 12th will be covered in 45 days and you will in this way get for, uh, 450 mcqs based upon ncrts at the end of the 45th day so also a single magazine combined magazine will be shared with you on the 50 45th day uh, which will be the compilation of all the 450 ncrt based mcqs so if in case you are interested to join then you can uh, check the link which is shown on your screen and will also be provided in the description box and also friends uh, you can join our telegram channel the link of which is provided in the description box so on that telegram channel we have more than uh, 14000 subscribers and also there are many students who have already joined our history ncrt course so if in case you are interested to join this course and if you want to fine tune your preparation then do ensure that you check the description box because lot of students today prepare from home and uh, what they feel is a uh, uh, lack of guidance so uh, you can or, or a lack of discipline so this uh, time bound initiative will uh, will help you in covering your ncrts and uh, will give you much needed confidence so if you if you are willing to join then do ensure that you check the description box so this is all about friends today's video have a very nice day ahead thank you